Hi, it's me, Pasha. Um, so I woke up <coughs> to find three things dominating my newsfeed, my Facebook newsfeed. One, the story of the murderer who murdered this person, um, used and um, streamed it through Facebook Live. Um, don't really want to say much about that. I just wanted to pass my sincere condolences to the grieving family of the victim. Um, yeah, that they might find love, peace and strength and comfort in each other and may his soul rest in perfect peace. The second one is about this man who was um, forcefully removed from the United Airlines um, flight. Um, I'm sure United will find themselves with a hefty lawsuit. And the third one, that's the one I want to talk about, is love. Somebody on my Facebook got married, somebody on my Facebook got engaged, well actually two people got engaged, and lots of people posting about love. Brilliant. And that's what I want to talk about. And I, because I started to think, love, love should make you courageous. Love, if you really love somebody, and I'm, this, this part is about romantic love, if you really love somebody, you should be willing to go to the end of the earth for that person. You should be able to, and willing to take risk to say, yes, I do it. I jump, I'm going, take a risk. The same as when a parent love a child. As if you love your child, you do everything for your child. If it means you need to fight for your child, you'll fight. If you take, if it means you need to take a bullet for your for your child, you will do it. The same way in the romantic partnership. If you're truly um, in love and loving somebody, you should be willing and able to, t you know, to say, if I die, I die. But fight I shall. You fight for what you want. You fight for your love. You do things that you never imagined that you would do. Um, and I'm not talking so, all, um, sorry, I want to speak my language now. I don't, I'm not only talking about, um, you know, big gestures of dying for this person, but also if, if you've never been to an art gallery, and this person is into art, you go to the art gallery. If you've never flown before, and this person is a jet setter, you go and you know take the plunge and get on an airplane. Um, if this person lives abroad, if you people are not living in the same country and you need to make a choice, be brave and say, well, this is a new, this is a new country, but hey, you know, let's do it. Let's go for it. And, you know, love also the love for your community you uh, can still um remember this woman that stood stood up against all these police and you know she's facing this corner of police that's that's love she has love for her brothers her, she has love for her sisters she has love for her community and it made her courageous to say no enough you know ho oh, enough let's stop this and that's what it is. Real love should do that to you. Real love should make you passionate about things that you've never imagined that you, you would be doing. Never, you know. And yeah, that's what I want to talk. That's just what I want to say. Be courageous. Um, go out of your comfort zone. Um, you know, live life. Show passion. Yeah, you have to be. Um, that's right, Ivana. You have to be open-minded and being true to yourself. And uh, that's another thing. You need to love yourself. The true love. If you really love yourself, you, you will then co become courageous within yourself as well. If you're in a relationship that is abusive, then you should stand up and say, "No, enough of that. I love myself, and I'm going right now." Yeah. Don't be scared, even if it means that. Um, and I can and I can attest to that myself. Yeah, I, I'm not just talking about you know some airy fairy theory. I had to say enough is enough. I love myself and I'm going. I didn't know where I was going going to live. I didn't know how I was going to feed myself, my kids. I didn't know, but I had to go because I love myself and I love my kids. So. Um, do things. Love should inspire you. Love should. Ins this is why we have all these love songs and poems and art because love should be inspiring you. Love should 
bring out passion in you for whatever, whatever, dancing, singing, poetry, whatever, traveling, whatever. And um, also be, uh, and as, as my friend Ivona just said, love should make, you should be open-minded, experience new things, cultures, new ideas, new, you know, broaden your horizon. And that should, uh, that, that is what I personally think about love. Love should make you passionate. Love should make you want to jump up out of your bed in the morning and say, yeah, it's a new day. Let's do this. And, you know, even if you don't know. And again, I, I'm not talking just some airy fairy <coughs> theory because, um, like, I, I've come to London. The, the other day I was discussing with one of my friends. I'm oh, not discussing. I was telling her how it happened that I've come and live in London. It was for love. My partner wants to live in my then partner, husband, ex-husband now. He wants to live in London. So I went and when I came to London, I was eight months pregnant with my second one. My other one was 10 months. I didn't know anybody. I didn't know anything, but love does that. Yeah. And it's, that's true, Ivona. You need to always, you know, be true to yourself. But the only way you can be true to yourself if you really love yourself and allow yourself to go through the motions and understand yourself and, um, be guided by your intuition yeah be guided by your intuition because lots of times our mind or even our heart will tell us certain things but we need to the, the only authentic voice we have is our intuition within ourselves, and that's where we need to come out of and just go for it yeah so be courageous be brave be passionate in anything you do today love yourself pamper yourself, love your kids, tell them you love them, pamper them, even though they drive you absolutely bonkers. I mean, my drive me bonkers all the time because they're in that moody puberty teenage, but still love them, have fun with them, love your partner. And if things are not going right, if there is conflict, discuss where is it not going right? What is happening? Is it something that we can you know, is it a hurdle we can overcome? Is it something our, our vol value still the same, but you know, we, we, we interpret them differently or we action them differently. Maybe you have different love languages, understand your partner's love language. And if you don't know what love language, what I'm talking about, um, there is this brilliant book by Gary Chapman, who's written a book called the five love languages. And it based in the, in short, <coughs> In short, it is about, we all have our own love language. So um, if my love language, for example, is quality time, but you, your love language is um, act of service, you think by, for example, cleaning my house or, or you know, doing, taking the kids out, you are loving me. But for me, but for me, that is not loving me because I want you to be with me, spend time with me and vice versa. So if you don't know about the five love languages, I wholly recommend this book, read it. Um, you, you will look at life differently. You will look at your partner differently, even your kids, you will understand them better and just go for it. Understand each other, talk with each other. Never mind all this killing, this stabbing, this shooting. It all comes out of frustration, people suffering mental health, our youth, our youths are, are going haywire because they're not receive the, they're not receiving the love that in the way that they want it. Um, and you know, so let's just love, love your friends, find out the love languages of your friend and love them at, at where they are and go for it. Be brave, be courageous, get on that train, get on that plane, go and do that course, go. I don't know. I don't know. Go to some Kama Sutra, you know, event and learn new things go just go for it yeah so yes maxine um i'm sure you can get it on amazon it's it's by gary chapman it's called the five love languages ivana is um a relationship coach so if you guys are in love but it's not really going the way you want it get in contact with ivana she's brilliant she's humble um 
and she she will you know she will take it further and yeah that's it have a loving day everyone thank you for watching